So this is polypropylene sheet. It's been scored on one side. So this side it's shiny and that side the paper is a little bit more matte and you can just see the score marks on the paper. Quite hard to see but you can see them there. So what I tend to do is um, fold everything on this side, on the score side, so all those scores will become mounting folds. So here we go. So you just bend over the paper at that point and just crease along the score. Just pinch each little line and I'm pinching everything to be a mountain fold on this side even though um, some of them will become valleys in the future. This is polypropylene sheet which um, makes makes for nice precise um, scores, folds. So bend it at each point and just pinch it between thumb and forefinger. And that's each of the little lines. And you've got to have good light because it's really hard to see it, especially in the white paper. So we're just pre-scoring the whole sheet.
turn it over, you can sort of see which bits you've missed. There's that one. I'm just holding it up to the light now to see which bits I've managed to quite crease. It's looking quite good. All of them will make your life easier later on. How's that looking? Okay, I think that's done now. So now we can turn it over. We've been creasing on this side, and now we turn it over to this side, and we can start folding it. And we're going to fold every other line. So, every other horizontal line, can you see? I'm going to go all the way along here as a mountain, and then miss out this next one but go on to this one here so this one here because i'm missing out that one i'm leaving that it's going to be a valley on the other side well, a valley on this side a mountain on this so we are now going to make this whole line a mountain Mountain, valley, mountain. So we're going to go again. So this one will become a valley, but this will be our next mountain all the way along here. So bend it slightly and fold along that line. So, mountain, valley, mountain, valley, mountain, valley, and now, oh, let's just do these bits. Because that will be another mountain. Over this bit. There we are. So, encourage that mountain up, and that mountain up, and the valley's down. And then, if you give it slight compression from the sides, you can see where it wants to go. Um, and I'm just going to encourage it further so I can see now which ones also want to be mountains. So I can see that these, this one and this one wants to be a mountain. And this one and this one wants to be a mountain. So I'm going to open it up slightly and make those ones the mountains as well. So that one. So now when I encourage this mountain up, that valley down, 
on this mounting up and then compress it. Uh, you can see that it's much more, it's much happier because I've done these those mountains on this side. Um, so I can do that for the other lines now. But it's best to flatten the whole sheet again so that you can just access, just bend it at just that point that you want to fold it. You see how that looks now that we so again make sure this whole line goes up this one goes up but this one goes down so alternate up down up down make sure you pop them the way they're meant to be And now we can press from the sides again, so I'm pushing from my hands together in this position. And you can see that they're starting to go together. So it's just now a matter of coaxing them all the way. Like that. Keep coaxing. These ones are sort of slotting in. Mm. I'll just do those on that side. Making sure I've just got these little edge pieces scored. Right now, try again. Perspective boxes. It's ISO area, so it's the same on both sides. They paint different ways. Wow. 